Okay, Amani, since you're here, you're gonna have to talk to the camera, I'm sorry. Let's not make this big and complicated. I said I was gonna vlog because I know that I am going to be over a thousand subscribers on my YouTube channel this weekend. And so we're capturing some content this weekend for some friends and um, some other stuff I can't quite say just yet, but you'll see it in the next few weeks. So I'm gonna take y'all through some B-roll because I'm not gonna be able to talk while I'm at the meet. And then we're gonna follow up when I'm back home. And roll it. I need to make a cool transition. What's a cool YouTube transition gonna look like? Um, ooh, I got one, okay. All right, so it's over finally. Um, so I can actually talk <laughs> to the camera before we head out of here. It's really nice to be on the other side of. Well, I guess yet another side of the track and field thing. I mean, I've been here as an athlete. I've been here as a coach. And now I'm here as a photographer, which is pretty dope. Getting paid as a photographer. It's funny, I've gotten paid to do all three of those things. It's pretty nice, huh? <laughs> so, before we head out and I get the call to roll away, I want to say a quick, quick thank you to everybody. I think the last time I checked, subscriber count we're at like 991 and that was a few days ago so i'm sure that by the time i go to get ready to upload this vlog it's going to be at over a thousand and i promised you guys that when we reach a thousand i'm going to announce something so here it is i've been working on for the past two years and i may have teased it before but uh, a volume of everything i know in the triple jump and it does apply to long jumpers as well but specifically the triple jump here are the instructions First, you're watching this video. If you like it, if you're not a subscriber already, subscribe. Do those two things and leave a comment. That's three, okay? Once you've done that, head to the link that I'm gonna drop in the description below. And from there, you can sign up with your email address. It's gonna be first name, last name, email, just basic information. That way, when the ebook is done, I'm sending it straight to your inbox for free. This is my thank you to the support of Track and Field. This is my thank you to the subscribers on my channel who've helped me grow this YouTube channel. And um, yeah, I'm really excited to get this out to you guys. It's gonna be done in the next few months, be patient. And honestly, um, as we go along, if you guys want a part in writing it, leave a comment of what you wanna see. What is the most pressing issue you wanna see covered or something you really wanna learn about in an ebook. Again, I'll be sharing a little bit more about that as we go along. I just wanted to announce it and let you guys know and keep my promise to you all. Oh my arm, dang, this camera's heavy. And um, yeah, so once again, thank you all for the support. Uh, I guess I'll show you this facility. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, what a sneak up on her. <laughs> okay, that's enough. <laughs> I mean, I'm a triple jumper, so. Yeah, what school do you used to? I used to go to, I went to Indiana University. I graduated 10 years ago. Where are you from? Jamaica. Jamaica, okay. Yeah, I'm from. Yeah. Have a good one, man. Yeah, man, good to meet you. All, right. All the best this season. Yes, sir. Yep. So I wanted to talk about something briefly. Um, this is kind of to give a point to this whole vlog since you've invested your time in it. This might hurt, and if it does, take some heart to it. It's not to, for me, I'm not trying to offend you personally or anything like that, but I really want you to think about this. How many times have you left the meet and maybe performed so horribly that you're really embarrassed about it, but you end up saying to yourself and other people, oh, but the fouls were huge. But the fouls were huge. How many times have you said that? I know I used to say it earlier in my career. Um, you see, the problem with that is we glorify the fouls that we have rather than 
actually focusing on what the issue was and focus on fixing that issue, we start to really train ourselves to keep fouling big at, at meets. I know that I'm not the only person who's gone through this. Fouls don't count. Fouls don't matter. <laughs> like I said, I know this might sting a little bit, but your fouls don't mean shit. I mean this with all love and all respect from somebody who's gone through the same issues before. The problem isn't that being excited by a big jump that was a foul is the problem in and of itself. No, the problem is that on a subconscious level, and you guys know I like to get deep and psychological. From a psychological perspective, you get the dopamine rush of saying, ooh, I jumped the foul. Rather than having jumped the PR, you're getting that rush of dopamine for having jumped the foul. Now, subconsciously what's happening is you're training yourself to say, you know what? Even if I don't jump a big PR, I can jump a big foul. And if I jump a big foul, it's gonna feel the same as a PR. Stay with me. We're talking about neurotransmitters in the brain. And I'm not gonna get super deep on this because I don't have a PhD in this stuff. It's just stuff you, you start to pick up over time. You start to get really hooked in that release, that feeling of, oh, I did something great. When really you haven't done anything at all. Now the fouls that are big jumps, especially if they come consistently meet after meet, are oftentimes signs that you are on the right path but you have further to go. And the reminder I want to give to all of you right now is don't over-celebrate your fouls. Don't forget that a big foul is just a sign of saying you keep going, but celebrate when you get there. Getting there is the PR. And I'm gonna to have to leave in a minute, so I wanna wrap this up and I'll, maybe I'll continue the conversation when I get home. But the big, the getting there is the PR. Getting there is the breakthrough jump. Getting there is not the big foul that comes to me after me. Money is that way. Okay. Um. Thank you, man. Uh, yeah, man, it's my pleasure. I mean, I'm glad I was able. I was just telling. I was talking to the camera, actually. <laughs> I was just telling. Oh, yeah, the camera. I was telling the Canon um, about how like it's cool to be. You know, I've been an athlete and then I've been a coach. And now I'm like a photographer. Yeah. It's, it's cool to see the sport from all, not just athlete and coach, but like a third perspective. Right. It's pretty cool, man. Love this sport. Yeah, bro. Dude, look at you. And that's a wrap. We are heading out. Where are you